Hello and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. So uh last episode we uh met Mr. X. Uh don't know if he's going to be chasing us like in the remake. I don't think he does. I'm just not entirely sure cuz I've never played Claire's. I'm kind of hoping that uh so uh having some audio hiccups and some apparently inventory hiccups. God, I already got that. So we need another red jewel. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. So we need another red jewel. Ah, uh, nope. And for some reason, I think my computer's getting worse. So, because I was recording this fine, no audio hiccups. Besides that weird glitchiness, but that's in the emulator. But for some reason recording at all lately has been getting worse with the computer. I don't know how or why. But we'll see how well this this will go. Let's see the double steps. It's the it's it's like it's pushing itself too hard now and I don't know why cuz it was it was fine about a month ago. So I don't know what would cause the hiccup probably need a good like factory reset or something I don't know what's wrong with it oh there's the other one so I, I do apologize for like uh, that audio like static I do apologize for that please go all the way yeah okay cool so right now we are on our way to get the second jewel piece Oh boy. This is also why my videos have been coming out sporadic. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. So we're gonna have some hiccups in general. Awesome. Push, 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 push. And push. Okay. Alright, Claire, what are you doing? Thank you. Get on the other side. Push, push, push. Oh, such a super hard puzzle. Okay. Well, that little cutscene acted right. I was expecting it to be wonky, like when the type when the ceiling came down on the rooftop. Yes, more ammo. Thank you. <clears throat> now, if I can avoid inventory forever, it would be great. But I cannot. Come on, Claire. Just get around it. Thank you. Yes, I will take the second one. Thank you. With that extra audio hiccup. Because where they go is on the other side of the building. But we'll get to that soon. I just want to explore this side. I know the <clears throat> police station kind of well. But with Claire, it's going to be a smidge difference. I think I'll be able to access an elevator I couldn't with Leon. Star's office. Okay. Oops. There's no zombies in here. What? Did Leon kill them all? Okay. So weird. Why is this acting funny? Ah! Oh! Leon! Clear! No? It's good to see you're still among the living. The living. Oh yeah, super hiccupy. Looks like, looks like we're not gonna find your brother here after all. Aw, oh, sad sauce. So if anyone wants to donate a decent laptop or computer to me, I am open for new stuff. <laughs> cool, Chris's diary. Alright. <clears throat> August 8th, I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-Virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about it. Uh, talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. 
August 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G virus, a variation of the original T virus. Haven't they done enough already? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella headquarters in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Yeah, of course. Alright. <clears throat> that sucks. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than, longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, survivors and get out of here. Yep. Right, right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. Yeah, sweet. That way we can keep in touch if anything ha anything happens. Yeah, double say that again. <laughs> Please don't. I'm just kidding. And then I'm gonna need. Oh. Okay, not what I thought. Sweet. Looks like it's probably fixed down there. So that's Chris's desk. I'm gonna assume the Brett is Jill's desk. <laughs> This is Rebecca's desk. Looks like a rookie's desk. Yep, Rebecca's. Uh, I can't get that po Okay, I guess I can't loot that first aid. <laughs> nope, wrong button. C uh, what is this? Crossbow? Bowgun. Uh, okay. Oh boy, <laughs> this is gonna be really rough to be playing this. Ugh, and if you couldn't tell, I'm kinda getting sick. Looks like trash, looks like trash. So there's a way to get a picture out of here. And that's bugging this desk a bunch. Yeah, we're gonna super audio do that. Awesome. Alright, come on. Just give me the crap. I don't know why they make you, like, search this desk a bunch. It's like, oh, I've searched enough. There's nothing here, right? Nah. Oh, but there's totally something here, I swear. Maybe not with Claire. Mm, come on. Give me stuff, thank you. And I just have enough space for that. Awesome. There should be... No? Nothing? I thought there was, like bullet rounds or something here. I guess not. Okay, I guess we're going. Oh! Facts? Oh, shit. <clears throat> okay, so what's this paper say? Federal Precinct... Uh, oops! Federal Police Department Internal Investigations Report. Mr. Chris Redfield, Raccoon City Police Department Stars Division. As per your request, we have conducted our internal investigation and discovered the following information. 1. Regarding the G-Virus currently under development by Umbrella Inc., so far it is unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. With our, We're continuing with our investigation. Oh my god, I can't read. <laughs> Number two, regarding Mr. Brian Irons, chief of the Raccoon City Police Department, Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large sum of funds and bribes from Umbrella Corporation over the last five years. He was apparently involved in the cover-up of the Mansion Lab case, along with several others, uh, several other incidences, incidents in which Umbrella appears to have direct involvement. Mr. Irons has been arrested under suspicion of rape on two separate accounts during his years at a university student. He underwent psychiatric evaluation as a result of the charges, but was released due to circumstantial evidence as well as his phenomenal academic standing. As such, extreme caution is advised when dealing with him. Jack Hamilton, Section Chief Internal of Investigations, United States Federal Police Department. Okay, so Chris did the thing and got information back on Brian Iron, Iron Brian, blah, 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 the chief. <coughs> Gosh, I cannot. <laughs> so, as I thought, the chief is not a good man at all whatsoever. And I think he has a thing for blondes? I don't know. Oh, Zambies. 
Oh no, a child. Oh no. Tiny little Help pipsqueak. Me. Nope, don't wanna. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna. No, since the audio is kind of doubling. Okay, there's pool blood. There's not another duder here? Uh, okay. I thought there was two zombies here, but okay. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to be so much fun with the double audio. Sadly, I might have to put this series on hold. I oh, okay. What's up, guys? Oh, no. Yep, I do apologize for all the random audio that's about to happen. Oh. Yeah, reload fast, reload fast, reload fast. No, get... Yeah! No! Why? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die here. This is where I die. Yeah, my face. With the terrible audio, which I am super sorry about. Wow, that was rough stuff. Desk is locked. Yes, lockpick. Thank you. Uh, what? We're not gonna make my gun better? I thought... Oh, right. There's no... I've been playing a little bit of Code Veronica to get I feel for that again, and I got spoiled on the quick turn. Nothing here. I'm assuming sh the little girl went this way. <sighs> Which we all know by now is Sherry, because, you know, the remake and all that. <coughs> Yikes, this is a little irritating. <laughs> Come on, go through the door. Oh, right. This. Uh oh. <gasps> Yay, go me. Nope, not go me. Because that's why I put it with Leon. It's in that hallway that goes to the basement, which is now full of zombies. Okay. Well, we're going to set this off for sure. Oh no, what's this? Ah! <laughs> I don't even need to look at that. I am awesome. I know what I'm doing. Yes, push it. I'm gonna push this one to the right. Nope! I said to the right. This is what I get for talking smack. Right. To the right. Thank you. And then just this one to the right once. And we should be good to go. Yes, what is that? Not what I expected. I thought... I guess we're not going to be dealing with the, um... The chess pieces. I cannot hold that anymore. Oh, uh, no. Oh uh, yeah, that's awesome sounding. Alright, so we'll be back for you, peace. <clears throat> Since now the library is opened and we can do that. <clears throat> oh man. Come on. <laughs> so for right now, we have the ladder down. We got the second jewel piece. Met a little girl. Got in touch with Leon. I think we did good for this episode. Sorry. I'm inhaling pizza as I try to talk. <laughs> <clears throat> Hopefully Mr. Angry Face isn't this way. Okay. So I am going to leave this episode here. And see how well this video turns out. If it's not disgustingly terrible, I think I'll do another video. 
so with that being said thank you all so much for watching if you like what you see hit that like button leave a comment down below and if you do here hit that subscribe button and i will catch you on the next episode bye